Welcome back to the channel. So quick video on ITM, which I think is one of the best investments of the next three to five years. Just my opinion. I could be totally wrong. Do your own research. Um, so how I look at people look at the chart. Oh, who cares? But yeah, the chart's sort of important. But what you want to do is rough sums. So ITM, thirty million to buy, cash of five million thereabouts. Cost to build the mine, hundred million dollars, which will make them hundred million dollars in EBITDA per year. That's at the current graphite price. Remember, lithium, the price was here, and then it went up here. So company, that's why these companies went like this. So yeah, at the current price, they're making about $100 million a year, but that could change to $3 million if there's a shortfall um, in EBITDA. So those numbers can change when the demand changes. And this is just getting out of the ground. There's more to graphite. You have to get out of the ground, then you have to make it in sphere balls and coat it. So that coding process is more like a two hundred million dollar build out, and they only they don't get getting out of the ground to get a hundred million EBITDA for a hundred million in capex for a good company. Downstream the numbers aren't so good. That's now though, but if people are screaming out, the downstream numbers will get better. So for how many years can they make that much EBITDA? Four hundred years. How do I know? Because if you look at the size of the resource. Um, they're drilling it out and they just keep hitting more graphite. They've got a massive, never ending resource, a lot like RNU has as well in that area. And how do I know the CapEx is going to be like this? Because Renascore has done a feasibility study as well. They're right near, it's going to be similar figures. Um, yeah, so continuing on, grade 10%. So the grade is pretty average. It's not like there's crazy grade, like 25%. But this company, is, I know, with the 25% grade, have massive capexes that will just dilute the share price so then you need to compare them against competitors which i know in my head how it is you need to do that yourself but if you've done that and you'll probably get to the same thing that itm is ticks all the boxes in my opinion so coming forth yeah itm it's going to do nothing for probably the next two to three years until electric vehicles get cheap and then the demand comes in and then we need that natural graphite. And people say, oh, you don't have any natural graphite. We'll pay you more for it. So people pay you more money. And that's why it goes like this. Because the supply, the demand outstrips the supply. goes like this. Then it comes back down, etc. But it buy low, sell high. And you also want to buy someone near a capacity because you don't have to get diluted uh, when you buy in. So this is CXO. $100 million to the same amount of tons that GL1 had to do. But GL1 had to spend $400 million. GL1 isn't there yet, actually, as well. So who would you buy? The company you have to spend $100 million to make $400 million a year? Or the company you have to spend $400 million to make $400 million a year? Yes, you have to buy CXO. And that's why the price went like this. And, yeah, so what can I say? That could be similar to ITM. Um, don't have to spend much money to make a lot of money due to its good location, existing workforce, existing power, Massive resource in Australia. Probably going to get a government grant. Um, I'm probably a lot biased here, but we'll see what happens in the future. So this company is just going to do nothing probably for the next two, three years. Also, what happened around this time, interest rates weren't low. Government pumped out money. Um, but right now, interest rates rising. So it's probably going to do nothing. But then people say, oh, well, we'll pay you more for the graphite because we need it. And people want to pay us to get electric vehicle because they're cheaper, etc., etc. You get the idea. ITM. Just my opinion. Could be totally wrong. Uh, so key takeaways is also hype can set in. Like if you did the rough nuggets on Novonics, this was just super, super ridiculous pricing. Super ridiculous. So hype is a factor in shares as well. If you didn't know. So leave it at that. ITM. Basically, rough figures, thirty million. So to build the mine, hundred million dollars. So guess what happened? The government might give them a free loan, or because they're going to make a hundred million dollars or two hundred million dollars a year, they'll say to the person giving the money, say, "Well, we don't need you. We can get someone else. So give us your best deal, and they'll get a good deal of financing this money. Um, so they'll raise it on really good terms, meaning they're not going to dilute the share price. Meaning, if you're an investor, you didn't just get put in half because you got diluted." Continuing on, then they make that money per year. Anyway, so when these announcements come out, that's when the share price go. 
And you have to just predict these announcements. Like, seems like they're going to get government grants. Other companies have been. r has got government grants. They might not get a government grant, but maybe they don't even need one because the numbers are just so good that people with money... And that's also what happens. Like, people... The demand kicks in, and then the investment banks say, well, we got all this money. We'll invest in you guys uh, because it looks like you can do very well. And then the price goes up, but you had to buy in before those announcements came out to make the money. And in investing, you're just a nobody. Like, these people running these companies do not care about you as an investor um, for the most part. So you're just a pawn in the game, so you need to actually put the odds in your favor. And I'll probably just leave that. Buy low, sell high. Buy when nobody wants it. Look in the future. Yep, there's going to be a shortfall because there's going to be so much demand for this thing. Why? Because we're going away from petrol to electric vehicles because they're going to be cheaper. Charge your house. Charge it from the solar panels. Everything's better, faster, quieter. List goes on. I could be totally wrong, but I'm going to leave that video at this. Um, so just remember, if you want to do the rough figures, just answer these questions, mark cap. That will pretty much tell you, and then you have to compare it against its competitors also to see what they got and see who stacks up as the best. And in the natural graphite space, um, the best stock under 50 million, I would say, is ITM. Got to leave that at that. Hope you enjoyed this thing. Let me know the companies you like. Um, yeah, I could do the... I could look it up myself, but if you just want to give me these things here, then I'll tell you. Well, once you do these questions, you'll know yourself, like, is it good? So that's it for me. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Natural Graphite. I think it's going to go well. Elon Musk probably agrees with me. Probably.